Wrestling. You need to use that name. <laughs> it's a great name. <laughs> but point is, the name of your business, that's free. That's totally free. So you don't need any money to come up with a great name. And that can be one of the main sellers for your business to have that great name that you tell people. It changes the attitude of everything that you do. When you've got a blog like Laurel has, go fire yourself. It's got that edge and it's that litmus test that you run all your content through. And when you're writing content, you think, does it have the edge of the go fire yourself name? And if it doesn't, you get to step it up. So you come up with better quality of content. So you come up with better quality content. More people are attracted to that. It attracts the people that you're looking for. And that is totally free. So that's the first thing our client can do. He knows what he wants to talk about. He knows what his niche is, needs to come up with a great name for his business. That is free. What's the next thing he would do? Second thing to do, get your elevator and your concept pitch tight. What is it that you do? When movies are sold, when television shows are sold to studios, producers, the people with the millions of dollars to make them happen, the concept gets boiled down into two or three sentences sometimes. For example, speed. You know what the concept for that was? No. Die hard on a bus. Mm. Miami Vice. You don't know Miami Vice, do you? No. Cops. Okay, that's one of the words. MTV cops. If you can boil down what you do into just those elements, that's going to help you explain it. And again, to go back to go fire yourself and using that name, it kind of gives you that litmus test of what the content should be like. MTV cops, you're going to have some hip people on there, right? You're not going to have the do-do-do-do-do, just kind of twirling his baton kind of cop on there. It's MTV cops. Clarity of message, important with whatever you do, that's going to help you sell your product a whole lot easier. So we haven't gotten into anything that costs any money now because you got your name, you got your concept. Let's get into what actually costs to set up your actual business so you can start making money, getting clients, getting customers. What would you do? You want an online home, and the first part of an online home, a good domain. 15 bucks. Where do you get yours? Because I know we're not going to GoDaddy these days. No, can't stand them. I go to Namecheap, Namecheap.com. And there are a lot of reasons for that, just really quickly. Basically, GoDaddy has not sided with domain name owners if there's ever a problem and folks have lost their domain. Namecheap.com, much better company to work with for entrepreneurs. All right, so Namecheap.com, you get your domain name, which I would say should match up with the name of your company. And then you need hosting. That's the next thing you need. Yeah, and we're talking about just a very basic online home for you. And there are a few places that you can do that. Squarespace, they make it super easy to have an online site. Ten bucks a month for that. You don't have to be a designer. You go in there, you pop in your details. They've got templates. You can get a great online home, and they make it so easy. You can have it up in two or three hours. WordPress.com, not the WordPress you would download and have to host by yourself, but WordPress.com. Is free if you want to add a domain, a few bucks a month. Super easy. I like TypePad. My musicmarketing.com blog was on TypePad for years, still is, although it's not an active blog right now. $9 a month for that. Pretty cheap. And podcast hosting, Libsyn. That's, they host Red. They start at $5 a month. It's a good deal. $5 a month, dedicated media host. Podcasting, if you're going to make that your info product, big files, it will crash a web host super quick. A lot of web hosts, they're not going to let you put your podcast on there because it takes so much of the resources that they've got. Libsyn, 5 bucks a month, you're covered. So what are we up to now? We got 10 bucks for the host. Five bucks for the podcast host, fifteen dollars for the domain. Your first month, thirty bucks. Very easy. We're not up to a hundred yet. Next thing I would do is, especially if you have an online business, but even if you have an offline business, I would do this as well. I would get your mailing list started because your mailing list is really going to translate to you turning your prospects into paying clients. What I use and what you use too, David, is Aweber. Aweber is nineteen dollars a month easy to get going, has all kinds of templates and everything you need to do your email newsletters. If you're not ready to start there, MailChimp, I believe, is free up to 2,000 subscribers. So you can get started for either $19 or just totally free. Yeah, Aweber, if you're thinking about a long-term strategy, that's something that we would recommend. It's 
made for marketers. It has a lot more marketing power than something like MailChimp. Although MailChimp, a lot of people like it. They sponsor a lot of podcasts. A lot of people like it. I haven't heard much anything bad about it. And if you want to start under that $100 mark, I think it's a good place to start. For anyone, if you're going to change from MailChimp to AWeber, you have to get everyone to re-sign up again. So you just don't want to be changing along the way. So do make that decision with the long-term plan in mind. That's the only thing you want to remember there. Promo material. I like business cards. It's old school, but when you're meeting somebody on the street, it adds a little bit of credibility to what you're doing. If you can get that down with a great business name, if you can get your MTV cops, big concept pitch that you can give somebody your elevator pitch to let them know what you're doing and hand them a business card. It's a good thing that will start the discussion and possibly get you that client, get you that business that you want. Who are you meeting on the street, David? Well, I'm going to hand a business card out to anybody that I meet. <laughs> you just throw them out the car window. <laughs> just have some business cards. Actually, I don't have business cards right now. We get those They're coming. for special occasions. They're coming. Like I got to design New them. Media Expo. Which is coming up. Yep, Red Podcast will be represented. I'm speaking at New Media Expo this year. And, of course, National Association of Broadcasters, the big radio conference. They've teamed up. It's going to be a fun time in Las Vegas. Business cards, about 20 bucks. Don't go for Vistaprint. I just want to say that. Thank you. We use overnight print. There are plenty of others, but Vistaprint, they're just too cheap. You, just, you don't want to go on that it kind of cheap. It screams amateur Let's take it back to New Media Expo. At New Media Expo, we're going to meet a lot of people. They're going to hand us a card. It's going to have a template that everybody else is using. And on the back, it'll say free cards at Vistaprint. It doesn't show that you've got a lot of faith in your business. And these cards, overnight prints, 20 bucks. 20 bucks to make yourself look professional. Vistaprint cards are also smaller than normal standard size business cards. They're trying to get cheap on the paper on you. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't look good. So what are we up to now in terms of price to start a business? And we were just going through the example of our client starting his online coaching business. All right, mathematician, add this up. Domain name, 15 bucks. Web hosting, $10. Let's go with AWeber, 20 bucks for the month. Business cards, 20 bucks. $65? $65. All right, so we're under $100. So in the terms of our client... And him getting his info product set up, he might need some other services like copy editing or something. He might go over the $100 budget. Well, this is just to get you started. What we're saying here is don't let funding keep you from getting started. Yeah, there are going to be other expenses. Absolutely. There's permits, there's taxes, there's electricity. All that stuff can come later, though. The first thing you've got to do is get clear on the idea, get clear on your message, have a basic internet home, a domain name you can hang that on. That's all it takes to get started. And then do some grassroots marketing. Go out there and tell people what you do. That's all that is involved here. Just spread the message and make your clients happy and they'll tell their clients. It just kind of goes from there. But you have to start. You have to start somewhere and you have to learn the lessons that it takes to go to the next step. So it doesn't cost that much to get started. And you basically have no excuse if you haven't already. As far as meeting people, you don't even need to place ads. You can go on meetup.com, look for people that are in your niche, have the same interest that you do in similar businesses that you do. Go out and meet people. All sorts of opportunities there. Sounds good to me. You have any questions or comments? Check us out online. Redpodcast.com is where to do that. We've got past episodes. And as I mentioned, Laurel, we've got the app now. Google App Store, Amazon App Store, and available on iTunes. Search for Real Entrepreneur. You'll find it there if you want an app. You definitely want an app. <laughs> if you get that app, take a screenshot and send it to us. Yeah, send it to us via Twitter. You're going to be our new favorite person. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next episode. You've been listening to Red Podcast, Real Entrepreneur Development. Subscribe today using iTunes, Stitcher, or via RSS at redpodcast.com. So if you can boil down what you do in a very, very 